So welcome back to Worthington Model Railway and another unboxing video. Yes, I'm trying to spend my kid's inheritance. Um, this time from Hatton's and uh, this is some more 009 stock um, to add to my new area of 009 on the layout. So let me see what arrived today. So here we have a very soggy box. Um, it was pouring with rain when this was delivered and I didn't realize it had been delivered and it was sitting on my front step for a while, but uh, the contents kind of seem to be okay. And as you see, um, lots of uh, 009 stuff. Uh, the thing I'm really excited about is this uh, small Prince, uh, sorry, small England Prince um, I'm hoping it's going to be in one piece. I've heard some stories that they're not arriving uh, in good shape, but uh, looking at the box here, this one seems to be good. So hopefully that's good. So uh, what else do we have in here? Well, um, I ordered a couple more of these uh, flat wagons. Um, and... Uh, these are the bolster wagons, so they obviously have the bolsters there that we can put in place. Um, also ordered a couple more of these, uh, um, I don't know what we call them, these little box wagons. Um, four wheel open side coach in plain green. And uh, another one in green with the windows. So this one is the four-wheel enclosed side coach um, and then I ordered a couple of these uh, larger items so first one is the uh, LNBR number five um, the bogey goods brake van so uh, I have a brake van I can put behind the good stuff and the other one is this uh, center observation coach. Now, I also ordered a couple of other coaches, but they're either out of stock or they're on pre-order. So, um, hoping those won't be too long in arriving, but uh, in the meantime, I get these others to, to look at. So, we'll open these boxes up and take a, a better look at the, uh, the different bits and pieces of stuff I got here. So definitely the thing that uh, I'm quite happy to see here is this uh, small England Prince. Um, it's interesting, This it says festrail.co.uk. Um, this is a joint um, production from Cato, which is a, an American uh, manufacturing company that's particularly well known for its N-Gage stuff and Pico. Um, so, here's the box, um, nothing too excited on here, but uh, let's see, we've got Pico and we've got Cato. Well, let's uh, open it up and have a look. I'm not quite sure what is going on here, it seems like it's a lot of box for a small loco, but we will see. pulls out. Okay, what do we have here? So I've got some uh, info here. And information, installation of the grab irons. Ah, so that must be, these must be the grab irons. Okay, well, so we can look at that. Uh, looks like there's some alternative couplers in here too. Um, to find out what I need to do with those. Uh, looks like you just poke them in and snap them off. Yeah, interesting. I don't know why those, they didn't come with those installed because there are definitely little grab irons right here. Um, let's take this out and have a look at it. So, uh, 
as you may be able to see, there are definite little grab irons there, but the other ones are not in place and obviously need to be put in place. You can see the holes here on the tender, and there's holes here and here, so I will need to do that. It's interesting, um, it's actually quite weighty. It's pretty small, but it is, there's, there's a little bit of weight in there. And there's a little weight in the tender too. It's almost like they've added some weight in the tender. Now, uh, this only comes DC. It doesn't come DCC fitted or ready. Um, as my 009 section of the layout is DCC, until I actually get this DCC fitted, um, not going to be able to run it. I suppose I could wire up a DC controller to the uh, temporarily to, to run it if need be. Um, I was wondering where there is room to put a decoder in there. Um, I do have a couple of N gauge decoders that I might be able to to fit in here. We'll have to open up and look and see if there's any space in there. So anyway, um, very nice printed detail on here. Uh, I had heard of some of these arriving with some damage. There does not appear to be any damage on this. Uh, those handrails are separately fitted. I've heard of missing whistles. Those look good. Um, actually, pretty amazing the, the amount of detail on this. I don't know if you can see the printing there on the buffer beam, but uh, it's quite small, but it's it's definitely legible. It says number on one side and two on the other. Um, this obviously is Prince. Part of me thinks I should have ordered Prince and Princess, particularly because I'm now hearing that these are pretty much all sold out. But uh, certainly very pleased with this. I mean, there's some detail in the firebox. I don't know why I didn't pick that out a little bit more. Um, it's just molded, but uh, it's, this is nice, the, the wood detail on the back here. Coal is not wonderful, but uh, generally speaking, pretty pleased with this. Um, interesting to see how it runs. Okay, so let's look at some of the other things that came, the other goodies that I got today. So I took out these bolster wagons. Um, it looks like the way this works is this sits in here. Yeah, and we just push it in. Looks like it can kind of turn on the axis here. Nope. Oh. There we go. Uh, so they clip in. They can turn on the axis there. Um, they're very similar to flat wagons, but the uh, ability to put something on here and hold it in place. very much else to really show. A little bit of detail. Look like they have a vacuum braking system on them. Obviously that's supposed to be planking on the top. A fun little addition. Uh, let's get this one plugged in too. That one just clips in. those two. So these are this little addition. Um, we just turn that on the bottom and they drop off. Back in the box. Do the same with this one. This, this off. Turn this little thing on the bottom. It says release drop off. So 
So let's look. So it seems that uh, the chimney here, I either I'm supposed for a heater or for gas lamps. I'm not quite sure which. Um, little painted on door handles there are kind of nice. There's some nice molded detail on the ends. This one has the steps to get up the side to get on the roof. Um, the roof comes off. Not quite sure why, but uh, very basic seating inside. And uh, this obviously is the open version. Certainly, uh, no heating on this one. This one's definitely for those that uh, want to be a little bit more adventurous. Um, roof comes off this one too, by the looks. Uh, seating's not really that different. The only point being that uh, this is enclosed with windows, and this one isn't. So here we have the uh, Allen BR number five uh, bogey brake van. So that's some nice detail on it. It is pretty much all molded though. Um, these are molded handrails and uh, molded brake. Yeah. See a lot going on inside. Um, open veranda at that end. Closed at this end. Uh, vacuum brake pipes here and some steps. I suppose reasonably uh, well detailed across there. Um, very fine printing that to focus on the bottom there but there is some maker's plate there. These are not a tremendous amount of detail in the bogies but enough. Oh looks like the door opens. Let's see if it does. It does indeed. The door opens and you can see in there the other side opens too. I don't know. Yes, it does. That's a nice, uh, a nice touch. The opening doors. They're running with the doors closed. The doors open. That's great. Uh, chimney on the top there. You see too much in terms of interior detail. But, uh, that, was, that was nice to discover those doors open. So, oh, it's the brake van. So here we have the center observation coach. Again, uh, the roof comes off. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be that way, but it appears to be. Um, these I take it at events for gas lighting. Um, so you can see again the seating in here is very rudimentary. Um, including an open section in the middle here. Um, uh, no fitted detail, a lot of molded detail. Um, the uh, hand, handrails here are molded. Uh, lots of rivet detail on here. A limited amount of underbody detail. Similar detail on the ends to the the other smaller coaches we looked at earlier. Um, we look at the this one and this one together. They're similar. Uh, this is a little taller. Can speak a little bigger. Let's put the roof back on it. There we have it with the the roof. Oh, uh, all in all, not a tremendous amount to uh, to look at here, but 
Pico have done a nice job with these though. Okay. That's about it. So I thought I'd just try fitting a couple of these and show you how it's supposed to work and, and see if it does work. I think there are a couple of extras in here so um, that's good news if it, uh, if it doesn't work or if we break something. It seems from what they say, you push this in there. There you go. And we'll have a get the, uh, the ballast. You get it. It looks pretty good. It's not actually that difficult. Um, put a couple in the back here. See if it works with these two. That one did not want to work. Hopefully that's why they give you extras. Uh oh. That one's in there. It broke off. It's not good. I'm going to be careful with these there. Seems like they're pretty delicate. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with the one that didn't work. So I think you can see, hopefully you can see the three that worked the end it snapped off I need to get it I need to get the piece out and put one of these spares in so I find something to pull that out with so uh, you might be able to see on my finger there I did get it out um, hemostat was the way to do it <laughs> just close the hemostat on the end and pull it out so um let's take another one try to be let's take another one and try to be very careful this time when i put it in and break it off here we go ah. now you can see we have four of them that's a bit of a pain. Anyway, um, so we'll see this running at some point. So there are my 009 additions. Um, I'm not going to run these right now. I need to do some work, um, as I say, on my 009 part of the layout. Plus, um, Prince is DC, and my 009 right now is all DCC. So um, I need to get that resolved before I run the loco. So uh, we'll, we'll see the loco running sooner than later. Thanks for watching. I uh, can't wait to get this 009 stuff actually operational. Hopefully in the next couple of days we'll uh, get that done and post a video. Uh, please like if you like the video. Subscribe with a button to the top right. Another video to the top left.